All right, students, let's just get a quick rundown of how to use your blog now that you're using a MacBook. So it's a lot different than when we had it on the iPads and we used apps to control it. Now we're using actually a web interface. So I'm at blogger.com. So if you need to get there, go ahead and pause the video and get to blogger.com so that you can kind of follow along. But I'm going to make a simple post and put a bunch of things into it so you can see how that is done. So um, I've got my all my different, um, I guess, menu items here on the left. Uh, my settings, all the layout and all that stuff is controlled here. All we're really going to talk about today is how to make new posts, okay? So if I was to take a look at my my blog now, this is what it looks like. This is a test blog for me and you can see I've got uh, just some different things going on here because I have to teach people all the time about how to use their blog. So that's what mine looks like right now is my kind of my throwaway test blog. But let's go ahead and get started. So let's say you have an assignment to do a report on the red-eyed tree frog, okay? And you've got to put that in your blog. And let's say you've already written it all, okay? So this is not a video about how to write, this is a video about how to make your blog post. So let's say you've done all the writing and you're ready to put it all together now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on new post. And just like always, we have a place for a title. So I'm just gonna say red-eyed tree frog report. Okay, so there it is. And then now I have my body down here that I can uh, write whatever I want in. I'm just going to go get some text over here from National Geographic. I'm going to go and borrow some of theirs. Let me just copy that and put it over here. Just like I said, this is not about writing. This is about um, uh, using your blog. So uh, once you've done your copy and paste, again, don't do your writing here in Blogger. Don't start writing in here. You really just want to copy and paste into here from wherever you're writing it in Google Drive or, or what have you. So uh, in here, of course, you can do the normal stuff like I can highlight and I can, you know, use my highlighter pen on that and make that yellow if I want. I can make this one bold. You know, you guys have done this before. You know how all this works. I can make this a new paragraph here. You know, all those kind of things that you can do. Very simple. It's got a normal interface for editing text, uh, making something larger like uh, subtitle. You know, I could have a subtitle here and I could select that and I could make that uh, subheading so it makes it bold and makes it aligns it a little bit differently. Um, don't really mess with the different fonts that you have. You only just have a few and you can just leave it as the default font. Okay, but let's get into the good stuff. Let's go ahead and put a photo in here. So let's say I want to put a photo here. So I'm going to make a space for it. I have a blinking cursor and now I'm ready to insert a photo. So let me just go over to Google and I'm going to search for the red-eyed tree frog. Frog. Okay, so I'm in red-eyed tree frog. Let's go ahead and look at images. And there's two ways, really cool ways to do this. Um, let me just go ahead and get, open up the first one here. The first one, of course, is to uh, download this to your computer. So if I go and get this image all by itself, like what I did just there, and then uh, I'm doing a two-finger click on my trackpad, and I could do Save Image As, and let me go ahead and put that on there. So let's remember what that name is because I need it in just a few minutes. Okay, so, so now it's downloading it to my computer, and now I'm going to go back to my blog, and I'm going to upload it to my blog. So I can just tap on the little icon right up here for a picture, and I can say Upload choose the file and of course it's this file right here the red-eyed tree frog and then that gets uploaded so I've kind of taken it down from the web and I've put it back up on the web and so there's my picture in here I can choose whether I wanted a small picture medium or large I'm just gonna go with medium and then I want it left hand aligned or right or whatever I'm gonna leave it on the right side there because it looks really good okay so that's one way to put a photo in I'm going to copy all this text, just so we have more text to have here. It's going to kind of look silly, but okay, so let's go ahead and copy that. I'm going to delete that photo from there. And so now we have um, another place to put a photo. Okay, so for here, we're going to do a little bit different. I'm going to go back to our photos of red-eyed tree frogs. Let me close this. Um, back to our Google search and I'm gonna go with the next one here okay so here's the next photo he's peeking around a leaf here this time I'm gonna go view the image just like before like we're gonna go get it but now I'm going to copy the address instead of downloading and uploading the photo so it's a little more tricky I'm just gonna copy the address and then when I tap on the photo I'm gonna say from URL or address I'm just gonna paste that address in there and now it's going to copy it from an address so I didn't have to waste time downloading it and uploading it so that um, 
it works easy. Let me just dismiss this little uh, error that I'm getting here. Okay, so there is how the two different ways to get photos into your, your blog. One is through uploading and the other one is through linking to it. And you could link to a photo that you have in Google Drive, say, you could do it that way, but that's how to do that. Now, um, in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to put a video in your blog post, okay?